back to Cardinal City. So we were in Mrs. Greer's class earlier, and we showed you that they had a problem. PG&E had to collect money because trees were falling down. In the other classroom, Mrs. Poole's class, they had polio that happened. Now we're in Mrs. Taylor's class. So far, no tragedy has happened. But guess what? Insurance and taxes are due shortly. Who knows if something could happen? Now, this is a new booth that we have here. This is Chase's Hair Salon Creation. So what are you about to do? I'm about to braid her hair. Okay, and how much does this cost? One dollar. One dollar, and do you just do braids or anything else that you do? Um, I do a lot of hairstyles. Oh, you do? Like okay. Hair. Did you do your own hair this morning? Yes. Whoa, it looks very beautiful. Are you making a lot of money? Yes. Do you think you might want to be a hairstylist when you grow up? Yes. Well, that's good. Keep an eye on this face. Maybe she'll be participating in Hair Wars in... Well, let me do some math here. 15 years, maybe? 15 years, yeah. That's possible. Sure. Yeah. I, you know, I have to figure out, well, she's in third grade, how long, and she has to go to school, you know, all of that. Are you having fun doing this, being an adult? Yes. You are. <clears throat> Is it hard paying all the bills? Yes. Are you going to get insurance, do you think, when it comes time? Probably. Okay, that might be smart because you never know, and if you don't have insurance and tragedy strikes, you usually have to pay a lot more money than if you had the insurance. Now. Surefire way to get on camera. These parents are getting very smart. Good day, cookies. Uh -huh. Did you help make these? No. No. Who who made them? My mom. Your mom. Well, you know what? When you're owning your own business, you need help from family and friends, right? Yes. Have you been selling a lot? Mm, not really. Not really. What oh, the heck, you guys? You don't want good day on. cookies? Now let me show you something too. Okay, see how this shows that it's closed right now? If it's closed and they're really open, or if they're open. But they're really closed and they don't have the sign on right, the police will get mad at them and they will have to be in timeout or jail for a little bit of time. And then they also have to pay a fine. So it happens, people. It happens. You just never know what's going to go on. Okay, now we have the church here. This is Hannah's church. Oh my gosh, I love your bow. Did you, did you get that from Chase or is that from home? It's from home. Oh, it is? Okay, well, because Chase has been selling some hair ties as well. Now, what do people have to pay you? One or two dollars. How, how come it depends? Because they can tie or do anything else. Okay, yeah, because they have to pay tithe because we're at Woodland Christian School. So they have to make sure that they're paying their rent. They have to tithe. They have to pay PG&E. And then, not to mention, can you show us this green thing really quick? This shows their income. So every time someone buys something, they have to keep track of this too. So it's a lot of math that they're learning how to do. I mean, who even balances their checkbook anymore? They're really learning What's how to do everything. I know, right? <laughs> Candy Brown, I know these kids love this project. Yes. They're so creative. I love how they create these things out of a, yeah. uh, uh, out of a refrigerator box. Yeah. Refrigerator. yeah.